same set of scriptures that our pastor just expounded on. I want you to look at verse 13. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 13. And I want to piggyback off of something uh, Mr. Bates said. Talking about the indwelling of God's spirit. Now, now, uh, Sister Andrews, I want you to read on page 3. I want you to read that first sentence of this. says, because his nature is love. On page 3. I'm going to just stand and read that for a minute. And then I want to I want to piggyback off of something uh, Minister Bates said. Amen? Amen. Second, second box, yeah. Page three, slide six. Page three, sli slide. Yeah, slide, <laughs> slide, slide six. <laughs> now, now read that real loud now. Because his nature is love. Whose nature? God's nature. God's, God's nature. We must be confident that however God expresses himself to us, it is always for our, our best. Amen. Now, 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 Brother Bates talked about the indwelling of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, if God indwells us and his essential nature is love, okay. then the love of God dwelleth in his children. Amen. Amen. Yeah, right. The potential to express agape love is in the nature of God. And if God's spirit is in you, then the love of God is being made, perfected, or what I was expressing to my wife, it is a growing sacrificial love where you learn to love those who don't especially love you back. Right. Now, now, teacher, let me work with the scenario that you gave. Mm -hmm. See, 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 Jesus went into the house mm -hmm. uh -huh. to talk to the people, right. and they called him a wine dealer. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he went into a house of the night Amen. where people parted and drank liquor. Okay. Y'all ain't, Come on, see, ain't talking to Boy, me. But see, that love which was embodied in Christ went into where it was needed. So God's love always is demonstrated where it's needed. Amen. Amen. Now, we talked about that, that, that woman that touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a priest. Yeah. And no, watch this, no sinner or what well, diseased person was supposed to touch the priest. That's why Jesus said, who touched me? Who? That's right. And then you was not supposed to touch a leper. That's right. That's right. But Jesus went over instead of speaking healing, he touched her. Take what? That is love in action. That is a demonstration to regardless to what you, how, how, how dirty or how sinful or, or how broken or hurt you are, Jesus will still touch you. So when I go downtown to Skid Row, and I hired a guy to come to my house. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. I picked him up. Yep. Put him in your truck. Put him in my truck. That's right. Drove him to Hampstead. Mm -hmm. He knows where I live. I fed him, watered him, and was out there in the yard with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, Amen. And guess what? I was able to share. My testimony right. while we were working. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, Paul says here in John chapter 4, verse 1, hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us. Because he has given us his what? Spirit. Amen. And if God has given him, given you his spirit. He's also given you his agape.
God they love. Amen. It's a God they love. But see, practicing love and talking about love is two different things. Amen. See, 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 when you say you got to love your enemy and, and you say you got to love Trump, then all kinds of stuff, people head catch on fire. I mean, they, they, they absolutely blow up. Somebody say amen. amen. But Jesus didn't qualify who you need to love. Right. Amen. What you amen. say? Somebody, you, you call somebody, you talk to a, a, a black person that's Republican, and folk just get crazy. <laughs> call them all kinds of names. Amen. And then they call us all kinds of names. Amen. And we're supposed to be Christian folk. Amen. But that agape love. love, but demonstrating that love is hard to do. Amen. Because we let our emotions dictate how we respond to people we don't like. Amen. What you said, right? And God done told you to love your ex-wife and your ex-husband. See, that got bound. That got bound. That got bound. You see what I'm saying? And see, and see, and see, when you're trying to love somebody who is unlovable, who has hurt you, has kicked you down, run you down, talked you down, behind your back, saying all kinds of stuff about you, and then they mama go to the hospital. And they call you. We're talking about demonstrating love. Got you, love. You hear what I'm Yeah. Is anybody out there? Is anybody still alive? Yeah. And so already you're a nurse, you need to check hearts and pulses and stuff. Yeah. I'm thinking they're dead. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. Yeah. But see, but see, that's that that very person that 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 hurt you, that you love the most, hurt you the most, no. and God saying you still gotta love them and forgive them. Amen. Yeah. You gotta love them and forgive them. You gotta love them and forgive them. Woo. And pastor, that's hard to do except in the spirit of the living God. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Watch what it says in verse 7. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. The demonstration of God's love is that while y'all was yet sinners, while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me and God showed out. He showed up Showed out, somebody say amen, amen, as a demonstration of his love for you in dying on Calvary's cross amen. that you may have the right to the tree of life. Amen. Well, I, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we talk about love, but love is a demonstrative act that seeks the good of the other person. So, 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 so when I say love your ex-husband, it doesn't mean you running up, kissing and carrying on, and you got to enter into that relationship. What you have done, you have demonstrated forgiveness through love. Yeah, through love. Yeah, that's the only way you can do it. You can't just you 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 got to allow the love of God to permeate through your spirit. Somebody say Amen and extend forgiveness to that other per person as an act of love and obedience to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's right. <laughs> That's right, but the source of that forgiveness is your what? Is your what now? Your love. You know, why? Because God is what? The Bible says God, the Bible doesn't say God is forgiveness. God is love. And the action of that love, that's right. That's right. Brains on about the forgiveness. Hey. So, so, pl would you please stand up and say that? Because I do it all the time. Would you please? <laughs> no, but please. I'm not, I ain't playing with you. Get up. Really, really say that. The action of that love comes about forgiveness. That's but right. That love is the key. That's so right. if you don't love, you're not going to be able to forgive that person or whether it's a that's right. or that's right. a friend or a co-worker. That's right. You're not gonna be able to do it. You're not gonna be able to do it. And I demonstrated a lot to my daughter. Said, "Mama, why are you going to extra mile? You know how she feels." I said, but I just got that love. Can't help. I'm gonna love Can't her until she loves me. But what you are demonstrating is walking in the spirit of God, and the source of your walk is your love that comes from your relationship of the indwelling spirit. It is the spirit. 
extending love Amen. to that person Amen. through you. Right, because a lot of times it's not what you have done, it, it's what has happened to them. So you got to love through that hurt or that pain that they may have this wall up. That's Amen. right. And That's right. And it comes from God. Come on, God sister. is love. You might as well be up here teaching. You might as well be up here teaching. Now, going back to last Wednesday, surrendering, submitting, and obeying to the will of God. Now, listen to what the scripture says now. In verse, in verse 15, whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, dwelleth in him, and he in God. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right? Now, in verse 16, and we have known and believed the love that God had to who? Yeah. Us. Yeah. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. So the source of our dwelling. Amen. Amen. Is our love toward God. Now, 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 let me work this out. The word dwelling, dwelleth, means to abide, reside, or remain. Abide, reside, and remain. Abide, reside, and remain. It is where you live. It is where you live. It's your residence. Now, Sister Andrew, we can, we can own three or four houses, mm -hmm. but where we live is home. Amen. 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 Somebody, and, and we reside and abide. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, Sister Merle, our relationship should be such that we abide and we reside in the Word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. And in the spirit of love. See, see, I could not keep my sanity down at Glen Hills Middle School except it was in the spirit, in the spirit of love. Amen. Because I was called all kind of old bald head names and, 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 and you know, and you make me, Mr. Aaron, you make me so sick, bald head self, so bald head. And then, and then, you know, people walking out, slamming your door, cussing you out, and calling you all kinds of MF and SOB oh, and that kind of stuff. And, and people angry with you all the time. And, and then you got the staff acting up and a fight down the hallway with two teachers at it with each other. You know, that kind of stuff. And then they mad at me because I'm making them work. And you have to walk in the spirit of love every day because your BC days <clears throat> you want to revert back to your BC days and that's why the spirit must indwell <laughs> and get control somebody say amen alright now 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 the spirit of God indwells me the, the essential nature of God is love and you even though God is three persons in one, you cannot separate them. Amen. Because in the, in, in the book of Philippians, said the Godhead, the Godhead dwells in us richly. So when we're talking about the Spirit, we're also talking about God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, 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 so if, if, if God is the source of our love, if his essential nature is love, then the spirit of God in us is love. Amen. Now watch this. Now watch this. He says this in verse 17. Herein is love. Herein is love. Made perfect. His is made perfect. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in the world. Amen. If God is love to the world, we must be love to the world and to each other. Amen. Yes. That's right. Okay? Yes. Okay. And he's not asking, Brother Lowe, he's not asking us to do it alone. Amen. Just alone. He, he's not asking you to go through what you're going through. Now, now, now read the next sentence. Read the next sentence down, Mr. Andrews. Amen. Read the next sentence now. 
on page six, on, on page, page three, three slide, slide six. Read the second one. Our trust. Our trust. Say it loud now. Our yeah. trust. It ain't loud enough. Our <laughs> trust. <laughs> your trust in God, love is critical to our lives in terms of salvation. Uh -oh. oh, in terms of what? Salvation. What else? Peace uh -oh. and joy. Well, oh, wait a minute now. But look at this next piece, though. When what? When suffering, afflictions, going through the trials of life. Now, what does that mean? Sometimes you feel unloved. Sometimes you're going through stuff. You think God has forgotten about you. Some of you have been in your struggles a very long time and you're tired. Amen. And some of you are overburdened. Somebody say amen. amen. You're carrying a heavy load. Yeah. But the scripture says if you trust God, trust his nature, you know he loves you. And whatever you're going through, whatever you experience, is for your good. For your good. Father knows best. Father knows best. Yes, now, 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 when I was growing up, I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't appreciate my father. Right. <laughs> no, I thought my father was too cruel, yeah. too hard. Yeah. Too mean at times. Yes, yes. Somebody say amen. amen. And then under my breath, I'd be calling him old ball head. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know I said that under oh, my breath. Well, you know I said well, that under my breath. <laughs> but let me, but now look at verse 20. If a man say I love God and hate his brother, He's a dang blasted liar. Talk He's a liar. Yeah. See it again. Now, now listen to that now. If a man say, uh -huh. I love God, what you say? and hate his brother, mm -hmm. he's a liar. Yes. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? Amen. And everybody talking about love ain't talking about agape love. That's right. And and sometimes when we're in relationships, you 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 got to spend some time figuring out what people mean by love. Because there are expectations that go along with love. Amen. And if a man and a woman come together and they and they love each other, there are some expectations that go along with that. But sometimes those expectations are unrealistic. That is why you gotta communicate. Expectations and limitations. Well, you, you're right, uh, Sister Blocker. There are some limitations. But, but, but that's an expectation also. And sometimes uh, it's not expressed before the marriage. And then you get married. And, well, I'm expecting, I'm expecting you to cook every day. <laughs> I, I, expect, I, I expect you to iron my toe and have them folded and ready for me to go to work. I said it loud enough because Lisa ain't here yet. She ain't here yet. Lisa, you ain't here yet? No, Lisa ain't here yet. So live it on her. Yeah. 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 And then, then, then she got expectations. You supposed to take care of me. Amen. You supposed to take care of everything. The bills. Amen. Everything else. Amen. Now you working, but I got an expectation that he's supposed to be paying everything. Well, what you going to do with your money? Shot clothes. Shot clothes. That's what they do. Last thing. Last thing. Uh, I got about seven minutes. Go to um, go to First Corinthians chapter thirteen. First Corinthians chapter. First Corinthians chapter thirteen. Now, now, uh, I don't have time to execute all of this and teach all of this, but I'm gonna run through it. Okay, because we got to look, we got to look at uh, love in action. We got to get a picture of what it really looks like. Amen. All right. Now, in chapter fourteen, excuse me, in thirteen, in thirteen, if you read the first verse, it says, "Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not love, I become as." Sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. Now that is a principle that says that although I am talented and gifted, 
If, it, if love does not undergird what I'm doing, I'm talking loud and saying nothing. That, that's what it's saying. I can speak in tongues. I can lay hands on folk. I can preach. I can teach. But if, if the source and the motivation of what I'm doing is not the love of God's word, the love of God and my neighbor, I am talking loud and saying nothing. And when a man says that he loves a woman, yes. Yes. and there's no demonstration of that love, he just talking loud and saying nothing. Amen. Like a wagon with rocks. You right, sir? Because love is an actionable word. That's connected to your behavior. Amen. That's right. That's right. If the Spirit of God lives in me and I'm under submission of the Spirit, then the source, watch this, watch this, of everything that I do is going to be out of love. And Pastor, that's why I come. I can go to the hospital and pray for my haters' mom. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's easy. Yeah, that's love. That's love. Love, love. That's love. When you can you can go to your ex and say, you know what, I, I'm not gonna fight about this anymore. Yep. I, I'm uh -huh. just really not. And I wish the best for you. And I'm gonna pray for you. And see, when you can pray for your ex, you're in a good spot. You're in a good spot. Amen. 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 I wish somebody would hear me. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, last thing, and I'm going to my seat. He says here, verse 13. Well, let's look at verse 4. 13, 4. Charity, which is love, suffers long. Love does put up with some stuff. And some of the stuff you got to put up with is your spouse's idiosyncrasies. <laughs> idiosyncrasies is those things and habits and ways that will not change. Okay. You got to live with it. <laughs> you just got to live with it. Yeah. But you got, the Bible says, love covers a multitude of sins. Some things you're going to have to live with in relationship to your spouse and your friend. Look at you. Dick and Laura, sit up, boy. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk loud now so we can hear you. It's the thing that we see before we get married mm -hmm. and we don't accept because right. we think that somebody's going to change because we think they're going to change but it's mm -hmm. a free will thing if you mm -hmm. change it it's got to be within you that's right that's right yeah, you exactly the demonstration right. of yeah, love right. comes from that change that's right exactly right that is exactly right now 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 there are some things about people at work that's right i i had teachers that just irked me. Oh. They just irked me because they had these idiosyncrasies. I'm organized. Everything's got to be dressed right, dressed and in order. But then you go to the classroom, it's just in disarray. <laughs> and in my mind and in my heart, I can't take it. Somebody say it back. But that's just the way that person is. The car the same way, the house probably the same way. Somebody say it back. But the person was a good teacher. You see what I'm saying? That's just something, something I had to want. Live with. My, my two APs, they all had little idiosyncrasies and ways about them that I was not particularly excited about. Let me put it like that. <laughs> Somebody say it back. But I had to. I had to walk in such a way that, that I, I could manage my own behavior under the control of the Spirit of the Lord and extend compassion right. and understanding that these people, 
that I'm working with, that's just the way they are. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Number two, let me move on. Love is kind. Amen. <clears throat> it envious not, it's not jealous. Charity, vault is not itself, and vault means it doesn't lift itself up. But, but watch this, in a marriage, doesn't necessarily have to be right all the time. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, it's not puffed up, meaning, you know, I'm, I, I, I have, you know how people have this, this, this distorted view of themselves amen. and their head is puffed up because they're, they're animacated. Amen. See, they're animacated, see. I call it no Yeah, but see, they're animacated and got all these degrees. Yeah. Yeah, their head all blown up. Yeah. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. But, but verse 5, do not behave yourself unseemly, speak not of her own, is not easily provoked, and thinketh no evil. Rejoice not in, in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, and doeth all things. Charity, love, never fails. It never what? Fails. Fails. And everybody, God has created man to receive and accept love, somebody said, by his own nature. That's right. So God, the loving God, created the entire universe out of his love, out of his mercy, and out of his grace. And he also extended redemption out of that love. So he created man with the idea of knowing that he's going to need redemption. Amen. And before the foundation of the world, mm -hmm. the Bible teaches us that Christ died for the ungodly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody yeah. say Everybody. Amen. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. And, and the source of the redemption and eternal life and the abundant life is because God loves you. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And whatever you're going through, whatever you're suffering with, whatever you're dealing with, is because God loves you. Let the church say amen. amen. And he always knows what's best. So amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all give yourself a hand. Amen. 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 You got to, yes, ma'am. Uh, we need to make sure.